The secret of the silent nights Talisman of endless time Hidden in the starlit sky above The promise of eternal life That mankind sought but could not find And if we must, we'll fight For those we love The secret of the silent nights Like a precious star shining white Within a palace burning bright At the center of the moon The secret of the silent nights A beautiful and wondrous sight Against our enemies we'll strive Sacred light, the secret of the selenite. The secret of the selenite, Selectra's gift to be our guide, and thank us for our many valiant deeds. The secret of the The famous astrologer Sirius, who had long been interested in the legend of the Selenites, tried to uncover the secret of these moon dwellers who, according to ancient scrolls, possessed the talisman of eternal life. astronomer Sirius <laughs> and though each one is oh so bright nothing sparkles in the night like my sweet and lovely light the moon the moon the moon <laughs> great heavens how fast no doubt a meteorite I should have known. <laughs> it's that old fool, the Baron von Munchausen, my own dear cousin. <laughs> A magnificent stallion. <laughs> Watch out, Baron, don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> dropped in, my dear cousin. Oh, you couldn't have picked a better time. Follow me. Come and look at this wonder. The star of night. Hmm. It's glowing on the plains. The muse of poets and the companion of travelers. It's... No, oh, I see, I see, I see. It's the moon. Don't tell me you wanted me to stop by just to discover the moon. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> Take a look at this painting. Huh? <laughs> this painting shows us how the moon was represented in several of the more widely known ancient civilizations. Uh, first of all, look at Chango, the Chinese goddess who holds the heavenly body out to the world. <laughs> then Artemis, or Diana, the goddess of the hunt. 
she reaps the celestial harvest with a golden scythe. <laughs> and Horus, the sun god of the Egyptians. Look, <laughs> notice his eye carefully. <laughs> you see, it's the moon. Dear cousin, I am amazed at your erudition, but I didn't come here for a mythology lesson. And finally here is the goddess Selena. She travels through the heavens on her chariot drawn by white horses. She gave her name to the moon dwellers, the Selenites. Jumping! Still harping on that, cousin. Do you really believe in this famous Selenite kingdom? <laughs> According to the books, the Selenites possess a talisman, which gives them eternal life. And I am ready to hand over my entire fortune to the person who brings me proof of their existence. <laughs> Your entire fortune? <laughs> you! I am your man. What do I do? You go to the moon. You'll find the Selenite kingdom. And you bring me the talisman. I swear that I'll name you my one and only legal heir. That means you will become richer than Croesus. <laughs> Here, take this. It's a very detailed map, which will be of great use to you. <laughs> and here's some money for expenses. Gold? Thunderation! What generosity, my dear cousin Siri! <laughs> Oh, think nothing of it, dear Baron. Well, all right. <laughs> Little walls. Oh. Mm. I didn't know you cared. voyage, I procured a sturdy three-master called Claire de Lune. I decided to take along my faithful companions to share in this marvelous adventure. My dear friends, Nimrod, <laughs> Earful, Hurricane, oh, how happy I am to see you again. Thundering decade of well, I'll be. I don't believe it. Isn't that Cavallo? Oh! Ah! At top speed, just like usual. Cavallo! Welcome aboard the Claire de Lune, dear friend! I'm overjoyed to see you again, Baron! <laughs> I heard you, <laughs> right, it's Hercules. Oh, 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 my, you're as strong as... As Hercules. Um, <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, but I'm so excited. Oh, my great companion. Now, really, my lord, you said this would be a peaceful trip. That's right, Captain, and I meant what I said. This should set your mind at ease. <laughs> you have a way of easing things. <laughs> and now, Baron, what course should I set for the Claire de Lune? Straight to the moon, lunatic. <laughs> Ban! You're quite a joker, aren't you? <laughs> Set the course straight to the moon! <laughs> <laughs> what course should 
I said to go to the moon. <laughs> Set a course for the South Seas. Here, take a look at this map. <laughs> Let's go, lazy bones. Man your stations. Prepare the subsoil. Clear the deck, sir. Hoist the mainsail. Raise the anchor. Southward. Tiniest wheeze of a breeze. One hundred and ten in the shade. I'm boiling. I'm boiling. We could certainly use a whiff of air. Great idea you had to go south. Hurricane, blow. Blow with all your might on these sagging sails. Sir, Captain, we're saved at last. You mean you believe those nincompoops? Those nincompoops, to use your words, <laughs> are never ever wrong. Thundering thunderations! <coughs> Sailors, man your stations! The storms are coming up. At least, uh, let's hope so. Captain, ready for the waltz? We're gonna dance. Oh, well, what else can happen now? Hercules. I'm here. I need you for the second part of my plan. <laughs> Shake on it, we're gonna get out of this squeeze. <laughs> oh, 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 no, that's enough. Oh, thundering, thunderations, he's just so strong, I don't know. Fire! <laughs> fire! Thunderation! <laughs> Your orangutans have set my ship on fire. Don't get hot under the collar, Captain. They're just obeying my orders. That's the last straw! Oh, 
Now keep your cool, Captain. Steady, old chap. I planned it all this way. Which way? The way to the moon. To, to the moon? I'm losing my marbles. We don't want to go to the moon. They're all out of their minds. Yeah, we don't want to go to the moon, man. Silence! I'm going to see the Baron. Well, Mr. Captain, uh, is this a mutiny then? We all refuse to continue this voyage. And might one know why you refuse? Because none of us wants to go to the moon. That's why. Because we are, we are not flying sailors. Because we are supposed to fly. With loud done. Go ahead if you want to, but we're not budging by Joe. He, he said, said it. We'll, we'll go, go down, down with the ship and not up. All right. Let's take a look at the chart. Hmm. Where could we let you crumbs off? Hmm. Ah, Providence <laughs> Island. You'll get there in no time at all, <laughs> you and your crew. And here's a purse. To compensate you for your boat. It's a deal. <laughs> Farewell, Captain. Have a good time on the island. Goodbye, Baron. Have a good time on the moon. <laughs> pull, pull, a pull. Ahoy! Down below, the hot air balloon. The balloon's getting away. Get it back. Easier done than said. Oh! Oh! The storm is getting closer! And here come those clouds! <laughs> Perfect! Now we may undertake the third phase of my plan. This cross is where we began our voyage. Good. Watch out! The storm is gonna hit us!
good idea. Oh, that incredible Baron von Munchausen, what a fabulous imagination. Let's see. Let's see what their trajectory is. They're not far from the target now. I'm going to become immortal. My dream is just about to come true. <laughs> outside. Keep going. We have to touch solid ground sometime. 
Let's hurry. I hear some weird noises. And I see some weird beasts. Every man for himself. Hurry. Ah! Where to? Where to? Where to? Where to? Where to? Oh. 
Greetings, Baron von Munchausen. You know my name, so who are you? My name is Moonday. Welcome to the moon. We have been waiting for quite a long time here in the Selenite Kingdom. <laughs> the Selenite Kingdom. Sirius was right. Oh, get a load of his head. I think he's cute. He's not normal. Allow me to introduce my companions. Hercules, Hurricane, Nemrod, Gamal, and Earful. Pleased to meet you. I know that it was a bumpy ride over, but shh. Listen on. What is that infernal racket? What a traitor! He's deserted us! The rocks are going to crush us! Surrounded. This time I think we've had it. Our friends are back. We're saved. <laughs> just now. I went to get reinforcements, and I told the king you'd arrived. <laughs> what gigantic bees! <laughs> That's right. They provide us with our food. Solid honey. So, that's your daily bread, is it? Are these vegetables to be eaten with the honey? No. We use them for weapons to be able to defend ourselves. This here is a sword. And here is a shield. Ah, <laughs> yeah, how practical. Look, here comes a patrol that's about to go on duty. Ah, that means you have an army. Yes, we do. Unfortunately, we must always be prepared to defend ourselves in case of an attack. To defend yourselves? But against whom? I'm afraid I can't tell you any more at this point. The king will tell you himself. <laughs> 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 
Please take a seat on this vehicle, gentlemen. This is a vehicle? This is a dragon! Now scale him up! I shall lead the way. Let's go! The king is expecting us! You think it works? Ow! Ow! Don't stop! Stop! Ouch! That smarts! Extraordinary! To run so fast with only two legs. the thunderations it speaks why yes it, it speaks oh crap is it raining uh oh it's nice out if you're a vegetable <laughs> what's he up to where's he running he's going out to work the fields all selenides are hatched out of nuts you just saw the birth of a farmer. Oh, look there! And what will that one become? That's really easy. He's starting to play music. So, he's a musician.
felt like a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Stronger than Hurricane. It swept me away. Unfair competition. <laughs> Astus and Lunas. Who said it? Cohen? Oh. 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 This reminds me of a fairy tale castle. Mortal Selenite, King of the Selenites. Highness, these Earthmen would like to honor you. Welcome to our kingdom. And you who have come to us all the way from the planet Earth. My respect, King of the Selenites. <laughs> The Queen of the Kingdom and my wife, Selenita. <laughs> this is their leader, the famous and legendary Baron von Munchausen, whose feats are universally known. His faithful companions, <laughs> May I introduce you to Astus and, uh, and Lunis, my faithful advisors. Please take a seat. But uh, someone uh, seems to beat us to it. We're probably supposed to sit on the floor. King of the Selenites, but uh, how did you know he existed? It is written in our books. Men from the Earth would come to the moon to free the valiant Selenites. So you have enemies on the moon? Well, except for the monsters, I found things to be rather calm. <laughs> Unfortunately, we do have enemies. Ferocious ones who never leave us in peace. They are deformed creatures. <laughs> Greenish beings. <laughs> the green <Greenish> means. <laughs> and what do they want? They want to take possession of the talisman of life. For he who possesses it need never ever die. <laughs> Immortality. The talisman of life. The secret of the Salonites. And the very goal of this our voyage to the moon. The old Sirius was right, thundering thunderations. the slightest sign. They've disappeared. Vanished. There in that crater. In that hellish hole.
What in the world? What is that object? I'm sure there are people inside of it. Eureka! I was right. The moon really is inhabited. Greeny meanies. The great day has come. We are going to attack the Selenites. Try green, try green, try green, try green, try green, try green. We are going to grab the gimmick for our ripe old age. It will make us immortal. Immortal, do you hear? Immortal. Get ready to strike. the starting signal. I hereby declare that the 20,000th moon gels may now begin. Our first champion in every category, Sir Lummy Lummit. Who will challenge the champ? If I may be so bold, Your Majesty, why not have uh, some interplanetary competition? The Earth against the Moon! No! <laughs> well, why not? That'll be more fun than a barrel of monkeys! Nimrod? Here I am, Baron. Nimrod, the honor of the Earth is now in your hands. I'll do my best. Count on me. Champion Selectric and the Earthman Cavallo. Selectric! 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 Selectric!
on you now. steeped in garlic. And here is His Majesty's cavalry. <laughs> Here's our friends, the Moonsteeds. <laughs> and finally, here comes His Majesty's secret weapon. And the secret weapon. <laughs> If your highness doesn't mind, I'd like to give these earthlings a demonstration. Go ahead, Lunas. 
set it off. <laughs> uh, Sergeant, fire. Bumblebees. <laughs> Bumblebees. Oh my God. Who do they Christ. think oh they're kidding? Thundering thunderation! We have to do something! First, we have to get His Majesty out of here! We've foreseen everything. The sacred grotto. Your Majesty will be safe there. Well, I would rather dance at the head of my armies! <laughs> Company forward. That's an army on the march. It's strange, like a power mower. Oh, I hear it. It's like a chomping noise. Fortunately, we can still count on the secret weapon. Well, here it comes. It's right on cue.
particular talents. Green means ready. Set. One, two, three. Squirt at will. You can do anything to me you want. I am immortal. <laughs> Whoever brings me the key to that door there may have the talisman of life. Oh, <laughs> 
I'll get you yet. I'll get you yet. I... <laughs> you have all granted to Baron von Munchausen. Because you and your friends have made the great prophecies of our ancient scrolls come true. As it says, Earthling shall deliver you from your mortal enemies. <laughs> Here we are. Cut us down. <laughs> Troy Green would never have been able to open this door without the password. Glory to Earthlings. of eternal youthfulness. Absolutely stunning. Baron von Munchausen, listen, thanks to this talisman, you, sir, are now immortal. <laughs> and you other earthly, you deserve the talisman of life, too. Oh, dear friend, from now on, Earthlings and Selenites will be jolly friends forevermore. Each night when you look up at the moon, think about us. And come up and see us sometime. Sirius, the talisman has been in our possession for two centuries. It sure has. <laughs> the secret of the Selenites is ours. That's right. <laughs> Time really flies, and everything is so different now. What happened to those good old days when you used to drop in, galloping on your magnificent steed? Oh, how nostalgic you are, Cousin Sirius. I hope you don't have any regrets. No, just... Thunderation! <laughs> as for me, Cousin, I regret nothing. What an extraordinary adventure. Extraordinary. Extraordinary. Extraordinary! <laughs>
The secret of the silent night Talisman of endless time Hidden in the starlit sky We love. 